We'll now recognize the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Posey, for five minutes for your questions. Uh, thank you, Chairman Obaldi. Uh, Secretary Granholm, what is the Department of Energy doing to lower the price of gasoline, electric, and natural gas for Americans? Well, supply obviously has been a big component of that, and we are now at record levels of production of both natural gas and of oil. And hopefully, I mean, obviously oil is traded on a global market, and so what happens internationally with OPEC, et cetera, has an impact on us at home. However, our oil and gas companies have uh, really stepped up to try to fill some of that gap. And, um, and, and that's is, what important. What is the agency doing to encourage any, any decrease in those prices? Well, we don't have, you know, obviously the prices are met on, a, on the private sector, on a market. So we don't have a direct impact on that market. Like killing drilling in Anwar? Uh, no, that has nothing to do with the price today. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, uh, what is the administration's specific plan to increase electric vehicle sales from the current 7% level uh, to the 36% level uh, proposed by, by rule in 2027? Um, are you talking about the EPA rule? Is that what you mean? Yes. Um, the administration is, or at least the Department of Energy, is uh, doing everything possible to bring down the price of electric vehicles by investing in research and development on battery technology. The price of vehicle batteries has already dropped by 85% over the past more than a decade, and a lot of that is due to DOE research. We're also um, making sure that the uptake of electric vehicles is easier for people who may have range anxiety because there's not a sufficient amount of charging, uh, charging network. And so we have partnered with the Department of Transportation with a, a joint office that is uh, set up to put out funding to achieve 500,000 additional electric vehicle charging units across the nation, both in transportation corridors as well as in areas where the private sector has not seen fit to put up charging stations, perhaps because there's no electric vehicles. So we're trying to solve the chicken and egg issue on, on that, and we're trying to bring down the price, and of course, the Inflation Reduction Act, by reducing the price at the, on the hood of vehicles, electric vehicles as they're purchased, will also make them more attractive. Okay. Uh, what's the total amount of uh, fiscal year 2023 grants to, uh, <clears throat> and subgrants to support researchers that are citizens of other countries? Uh, I mean, I'm told we, ha we have some that have gone to Iranians, North Koreans, Russians, and China, and I'm just wondering if that's correct. Uh, no, our funding is, uh, and in fact, I signed an executive order saying the research, et cetera, uh, and the funding for research has to be done, and the technologies in, the, in our labs has to be uh, commercialized in the United States. Okay, so our applicants are grants and subgrants uh, required to provide uh, the department with specific information about each foreign national listed on the application? Um, so um, I'm not sure if you're talking about entities from f foreign entities of concern. Um, I'm, I'm talking about any applications we, for grants and subgrants. Um, we, we look very carefully to make sure that grantees are not um, controlled by foreign entities of concern. And that means uh, that we, we are not, whether you're talking about Iran or Russia or China or North Korea, we are not providing grant money to entities from those countries. But, but, but do we require them to provide DOE with specific information about each foreign national listed on the application? Um, we do not require uh, grantees to list out the citizenship of everybody who applies, um, if a Canadian uh, a person who was born in Canada applies for a grant and is building a business in the United States, um, we don't reject that, uh, that situation. We, ha we are particularly attuned to those foreign entities of concern. Yeah, Can Canada is, I think, a friend of ours. I'm thinking of well, right, but countries you said that any. may not be friends. Right, you said any, so that's why I'm, I understand what you're getting at, and that's why I'm saying the foreign entities of concern, those four countries, uh, we are very attuned to. Thank you, and, and just curious, when was the last time you attended a cabinet meeting with the president? Yesterday. 
Very good. Thank you. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman yields back.